next session we will see how to migrate uh, uh, PostgreSQL which is running on EC2 or on premises to Aurora PostgreSQL. So the agenda is uh, uh, offline migration of PostgreSQL running on EC2 to Aurora cluster. The business requirement is we need uh, more reads uh, than writes uh, and uh, we should have a ready to go uh, create option for read replica. So in case of Aurora cluster, you can go for 15 read replicas. We are not using, uh, uh, we are not going to test the PostgreSQL at RDS which offers five read replicas. What are the alternatives to scale uh, PostgreSQL? You can upgrade the existing virtual machine in case, in our case, it is an EC2 instance. So uh, if it is possible for you, just go ahead and try uh, scaling uh, uh, your RAM, CPU and the storage, which may not be a good option, which, and uh, in case uh, you are going to test the migration to the, uh, to the uh, RDS, uh, you can have it for RDS at, uh, uh, PostgreSQL which offers five read replicas uh, otherwise in our case we are going to test uh, Aurora at PostgreSQL migration which offers 15 read replicas though at this point of time we are not going to do anything with the read replicas for the demo step let's launch the Aurora cluster though we have it already but that's what we are supposed to do in this and this is time consuming This is super slow. Launch the RDS. Oh, this is almost dead. We just need to launch an RDS uh, at uh, Aurora cluster, which will be just uh, one node uh, writer. At the same time, it will be the reader as well. In some later session, we will see uh, what is those writer and the readers. But at this point of time, we just need to launch a machine. That's it. Okay, let's go ahead and create the database, create database. Go for the standard create. Aurora cluster is already selected. We'll go with the Amazon Aurora PostgreSQL compatible addition. We'll go with 13.6, the default one. We will go with the Devon test and we will say database three because database one and two already exist. We will go with auto generate a password and uh, the master username is Postgre. If you want something else, you can go with that. We will go with bus table classes and two virtual CPU, 4 GB of RAM, or there is anything smaller in size than this. Okay, no. We are not going to create the replica at this point of time. Connectivity will go with the default VPC. Public access, yes, for our demo. Uh, default VPC is uh, the same. Additional configuration, we don't want anything uh, at this point of time. We are not going to bring any data from uh, MS SQL Server, so we will not turn the uh, bevel fish. Additional configuration, we don't want anything and just create the database. That's it. Once it is created, it will show you that you just save your user ID and password, view credential detail, and uh, you can copy it from there. Though we are not going to use this, I have a database which is uh, RDS already created. Uh, that is database underscore one. Uh, it is up and running. We are going to use that one only because I have saved the details uh, in our tutorial and we are going to use that. All right, so I'm already connected. You can see over here. 
this is our EC2 instance where PostgreSQL is running and uh, Aurora cluster we just launched and what we are need to do is um, you just need to capture the endpoint of Aurora so we'll just select this one And if you select this, this is the endpoint which I have put in over here. This is the name. The uh, username is Postgre and I have captured the password as well. Now we will test the connection of Aurora cluster from EC2 instance. The only thing which you need to remember is whatever uh, security group it has. Uh, you need to click that and you need to make sure that uh, the uh, security group of Aurora cluster should allow incoming connection from your on-premises database or your EC2 instance uh, uh, IP address. That's, that's the very important part. Otherwise, you will not be able to connect. So I've already done that. We are not going to review that again. But you need to make sure that it is done. If it is not done, uh, the connectivity is going to fail. You just need to say uh, added connection and whatever security group uh, you have created at the end of it, you just add that IP address. In my case, I have added uh, this entry PostgreSQL 5432. And uh, this is the IP address of the EC2 instance, which will be immediately after this demo be dropped. And now as the next step, what we are going to do is we are going to connect to Aurora cluster from EC2 instance. So it is PSQL hyphen hyphen host. This is the endpoint of the Aurora cluster port number, a username and the password password I have saved it on the notepad and in the tutorial also for you you have to do it yourself these are just for the reference only okay I'm able to uh, log into the Aurora cluster if I see there are few uh, databases which I'm going to create sorry I'm first I need to drop it drop database because we are going to import it from the EC2 instance it is dropped now if you see there is no dvd rental database that we are going to bring from the source environment so let's go to the ec2 instance and move on to the next step the next step is create the database that needs to be uh, be imported so we are going to create the database on to the uh, uh, to the Aurora cluster. I'm already logged in over there. So I'll just say create a database and database name that is DVD rental and that's it. A blank database must exist. It has existed now. Now we'll take a backup of the source environment and then we will go backup source environment. The source environment will just we have one user database this is small in size that's why we have taken a decision like we'll go with the offline migration and this is the command uh, pg hyphen dumb hyphen verbose that will show you the the status on the screen database name and that's it this this is uh, uh, backed up the next thing which we are going to do is we need to uh, to take a, a count of the objects from the source also let's take a count of the source objects which are there in dvd rental database these are the counts and the, when you import it it is going to same in the target environment so if you see the target environment as of now uh,
it shouldn't exist at this point of time once you are imported it then only it is going to exist you can see that these are the uh, system tables which exist with this data and now let's go to the next step the next step is uh, when you have it on the source database not everything will be migrated the roles and others they will not come up from the source environment what you have to do it from the ec2 instance just go ahead and back up the roles this you need to dump all hyphen hyphen role only and uh, roles will be roles should exist now you can see the roles are available now they can be uh, imported now let's restore the database to the uh, target aurora cluster and this is the command psql hyphen f this is the file name hyphen hyphen host this is the endpoint of the uh, aurora cluster the username and the password which it will prompt at the end you have the uh, uh, target uh, database which uh, where it has to be imported and let's feed in the password and the objects are imported let's log into the aurora cluster again and see this is aurora cluster i think i've already connected i'm already connected over here and the objects are also imported you can cross verify now and the next thing which we need to do is verify the uh, database which is imported so and uh, this, this is good when you have a small size database which takes uh, relatively very very less time in case you have a large size database and you have to do offline migration you can uh, do it using parallel backup and uh, restore method which is going to take a lot of uh, cpu resources from your source uh, source uh, uh, ec2 instance or uh, or your your on premises server so the first step you have to do is uh, you have to take a backup of roles and permission that needs to be backed up separately so we'll say pg underscore dump all hyphen hyphen roles only this is going to take the backup of the roles then you need to test the connection with the aurora cluster that we did in the uh, in the second step and uh, then you have to take a parallel backup pg dump hyphen v which is verbose and this is a parallel number of streams this is 16 and uh, then you have to give the format uh, the destination where it is going to uh, to take the backup uh, of uh, in the parallel mode for the dvd rental database and then it is going to take this is not dvd rentals dvd rental I have tried in two ways of so one is 16 stream and then the uh, uh, the eight streams and then uh, you have to to drop the database on the target environment if I have already imported it the way we have done it in our case and then we will uh, import it using pg underscore re uh, restore hyphen v hyphen hyphen host the way we have done it and you can see the complete syntax over here just try it for any database which is more than 10 gb in size and you have to restore it to the aurora cluster it's going to be relatively very very fast but remember this is offline migration and this is not online migration i hope this is going to help and